I guess I consider this the extra mile. So uh, I've been in marketing since I came to Chicago, and surprise, it's awful and it's horrible. <laughs> I really hate it. I work for a lighting distributor now, and um, it's really awful to know that you're selling people things they absolutely don't need. So, so like 50 grand worth of lighting fixtures, and it's weird to know that you know all the lighting fixtures in the place. <laughs> but, um, but there was one instance in my whole marketing career that I just, I killed. I absolutely killed. I, I had spreadsheets, I had Excels, I had fucking pie charts. <laughs> I had everything possible that you could have. I had my return on investments. I had absolutely everything you could have and all of this so that one woman would fall in love with me. So uh, I met this woman at a bus stop. That's, that's for a larger story. <laughs> so I met this woman at a bus stop, got her number, don't know how I got it. So then like two months go by and uh, we hang out. She comes over to my house at like 10 p.m. after she goes to a work party and doesn't know me at all. I could be, a, I could be anybody. And she came over and uh, after she left, I decided, wow, I'm like super in love with her. I want her to love me. I want... I want everything with her. I want, I want to know what it's like to uh, watch a movie with her when it's raining. I want to know what it's like to walk around when it's cold out. I want to know what it's like. I want all. I, I absolutely want all that. I want to marry this person. So I was like, so the minute she leaves, I go, okay, I gotta sit down. I gotta figure this out. I stay up all night. So I put together a SWAT. And if any of you know what a SWAT is. <laughs> It's uh, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. <laughs> so I go, all right, all right. I go, my strengths, I'm like, well, I'm, I'm nice, I guess. Like, that's like really all I have going. But then I like, I realized, I was like, wait a minute, I've been broken up with before uh, for being too nice. That's fucking bullshit. And so, so I was like, let me put that on the back burner. And I was like, all right, well, I'm also like pretty polite, so that'll be something. And so then I go right on over to the weaknesses. As you can tell, there are gonna be several. And so I go, okay, weaknesses. Well, um, she's heterosexual, that's not gonna help. <laughs> and so I'm like, okay. So by default, my vagina's gonna be a weakness. And so then I'm like, okay, location, that's gonna be a big deal. She lives downtown, I live in Lakeview, that's not gonna work out. We were going to school at the same time, but I was like, oh crap. And then um, she also, another weakness was that she was very fashionable, and she, she's originally from Mexico, she's been all around the world, she knows several languages, she's very cool. And I was like, I'm just from the Midwest. I've been to Canada twice. <laughs> and like, that's really all I have going. I like pork rinds and I like rollerblading at inopportune times during North <laughs> Lakeshore Drive. Like, that's all I really like to do. And so that's where I'm at. And then I'm like, opportunities. Well, she could be my girlfriend and um, that could like, totally change my life. And then I'm like, all right, at the threats, again, that kind of coincides with the weaknesses. Vagina. <laughs> so then after I go through that, I'm like, all right, let me make some Excel charts of like how I would, how based on the strategies that I choose, how my goals would excel. And so, so that kind of goes down. And I'm like, okay, well, let me, and I kind of came up with like a, a, a variety of options. I, I chose digital marketing. That's where the text came in. Y'all know that. <laughs> that always helps. Then I came up with, it's called um, incognito marketing where you don't know that you're being marketed to. <laughs> and then I came up with, fittingly enough, relationship marketing <laughs> where you kind of like, gain a relationship and decide, like you get this person to really be loyal to you and so they don't really flee anywhere else. So I did that and I kind of implemented these things very slowly. So the digital marketing, I would text her every day at the end of the day to be like, how was your day? <laughs> and at first I thought that was gonna be awful because I thought that would be very annoying, but it worked. 
And then incognito marketing, when we started hanging out, um, have you ever um, been on a date and you didn't really know you were on one? <laughs> I did that. <laughs> And so I was just like very chivalrous to the point where like you weren't aware of it. Oh, fuck. Huh. Okay, well, fast forward like way ahead. And um, we're sitting on my couch and we're like, we're, we're reading this Dr. Seuss book. I don't know if you guys know this one, but it's called Oh Say Can You Say. These are some terrible tongue twisters. And we're right at um, a Freddy Fry's French fried fish on Fridays or some shit. <laughs> And she turns to me and goes, hey, I really love you. And I go, all right. <laughs> so my marketing scheme totally worked. I absolutely hate marketing. It's the worst thing in the world. This was the one time I believed in what I was selling. And this was the one time that, believe it or not, this was people who actually really needed and belonged to each other. Thanks. Yeah.